For many years, the Torrey area of Aberdeen had issues with youth anti-social behaviour. In 2016, the community policing team working on Operation Smallwood took a different approach to tackling the issue. So Operation Smallwood in its guise this year was really designed around getting key um, partners together, creating a strategy that was going to provide longevity and, and legacy to really solve the problems in the area. The main partner is our, the local authority, Aberdeen City Council, and also our third sector agencies such as uh, Bernardo's, the social work and education, they all played a, a huge part in, in helping us to combat the, the initiative. As well as that, we also had teachers, the head teacher from Torrey Academy, so this was absolutely key in identifying what was happening in a child's life holistically. And when we could analyse what was happening in a child's life, we could funnel their activities towards appropriate diversion. So that's where street sports, Bernardo's would come in and offer that really honed support that was the hook that would steer them away from offending uh, and into more creative, um, less risk activities. The local police officers, they worked alongside the street sports, um, which is one of the third sector agencies, um, and the youth workers, they would go out and work in the, the peak times and the hotspot areas of the, of the area where the antisocial behaviour was rife. This would then divert the kids from carrying out such behaviour and give them something to do in the community, which is what the feedback that we got from the kids was that there wasn't much for them to do in the area. One particular child that, that springs to mind is a child that had been initially living in a totally different area, but then had come into the Torrey area and actually moved in with a, someone that we suspected was heavily involved in serious and organised crime, specifically de dealing drugs in the local area. We become initially very concerned about what that young person was being exposed to. Having the links that we did with social work, with the city council, with the third sector partners as well, we were able to build a very accurate picture of what was going on in on that young person's life, make key decisions very quickly to get that young person moved. That was a key intervention to, to steer that young person away from what could have been a, a life of drug dealing.